Hi everyone, this is Carla from San Pedro Fit. I'm very excited to share this with the ladies who are going to be doing the, the black dress makeover. I am very excited to have you on board and it is my goal to give you all the tools you need to go beyond the six week challenge and turn this into a lifestyle. And to make this a, a lifestyle, you really have to focus on your daily actions, right? So this is why this is the Makeover Healthy Habit Worksheet. So you already got a copy. I'm going to share with you another one so you can make sure you save it. You print it. I want everybody to print it. So the, uh, I mean, I don't know. If you are 100% digital person, that's fine. But to me, I believe it is very important to have something printed and in front of my face the whole time, or as long as I can. You want to see it on a regular basis. You want to have the reminder that you have to do this every single day. And um, the way I look at this is kind of like a game. Um, you do want to make sure that you follow through, that you check. So what I'm trying to say is that I print this, and then I put it in one of those plastic covers um you know like a sheet protector and i make sure i have very next to it so i post my sheet by my kitchen um but you can have it by your foot by in your bedroom in your bathroom whatever you know you're going to see it on a regular basis that's where you want to post it and then you want to have a dry erase marker next to it because throughout your day you're going to just check mark all right with your dry erase marker you're going to check mark the things that you have accomplished, all right? And then at the end of the week, you're gonna get that piece of paper, you're gonna come to your computer, and then you're gonna fill in the blanks hopping from the actual paper one. And be honest with yourself. So if you do only three days of this, instead of seven, be honest. And you're gonna see that here, you get four, right? And your goal was seven, so you fell a little bit short right here. But this is the way that we become better at what we do. You want to make sure you're honest with yourself. You want to make sure you review once a week. So I want you to make a space on your Sunday. And it really doesn't take more than 10 minutes, really, just to copy what you have scribbled in your worksheet um, and your paper one. Put it in here and do your review. I usually like to write it down in my journal. Um, if you don't have a journal, that's fine, but I highly suggest that you start writing um, and just kind of like tell yourself what are the areas of, of improvement and prize yourself. If you do well, overall, then prize yourself. Get a something. It doesn't have to cost money. You can get a bubble bath or something fun, even a manicure, something that's not expensive, uh, but make sure you make it something fun to follow through. The other thing is that I want to let you know, this is mine. Um, so I just shared with you some of the things that I put on my worksheet, but you can make it your own. So for example, for me, the AM are the things that I want, I want to accomplish before 5.30, all right? Just because I teach a class at 5.30 in the morning, that's the time I leave. So I wake up at 4 in the morning just to make sure I do this. You don't have to wake up at 4 in the morning, okay? You don't have to do it if you don't feel like you need it. But for example, if you go to work at 9 a.m., all right, you want to make do certain things before you leave for work. So the mojo is your, this is in your success manual, in your recipe book as well. Uh, you want to drink that water with lemon juice. There are a few recipes. Sometimes I put garlic um, in my in my water, just a little bit of water or, um, or garlic. Sometimes I do ginger. It depends what you want to do it. But this is very important. You want to start your day with your mojo because this is going to help adjust your pH in your blood. Um, it helps with your blood pressure. There are so many benefits of doing this first thing in the morning. So the mojo, you got to read your goals. Um, in my case, I know it is important to do some meditation in the morning. So if I don't have time to do this, I know sometimes I feel a little bit lost throughout the day. It helps me focus, all right? So even if you do only three minutes, that's good. I try to do 10 minutes a day, but I want to say at least I want to do three minutes. You don't have to do it. Like I said, this is something that you have to do with things that work for you, all right? Um, 
if you're going to exercise in the morning, uh, make sure you pack your lunch. So, for example, if you can only pack, pack your lunch, not on Tuesday, to pack your lunch, then when you do your review on Sunday, you say, you know what? I fell short just one day. Maybe for next week, my goal would be just to really focus on being ready and having everything ready to go so I can pack my lunch every single day. And, um, and that'll make you feel really good. It also is going to help you achieve your goals. If your goal is to exercise three days a week, this is the one tricky part, is that I'm going to ask you to do five. All right? Put it as a goal to do five. Just because if you fall short on the exercise and you only do three, you're still going to get the three days that you want it. If you put three and then you only do two, then it's not good. Two times a week exercise is not going to change your life. You need to do a minimum of three. And honestly, you want to make sure you go a little bit higher than that on your goal, especially for exercise. The same with healthy breakfast. Whatever you want to put, make sure you go push yourself a little bit before you're beyond your comfort zone. That's the only way you're going to improve. All right? Okay, day. These are the throughout your day. For example, if you um, if you already done your exercise, maybe you want to do something during the day that um, I'm gonna I'm not gonna use the elevator. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna use the stairs. All right. So you want to make sure you you put this on a daily basis. And your goal is to do this five times because you work five days a week. You want to educate yourself. So for me, it's to read 30 minutes a day, um, something that's going to move my life forward. But the way I put it here is so you know you have to educate yourself about nutrition. So, for example, if you have issues with um, uh, autoimmune disease or Hashimoto's or, or thyroid um, problems, then you want to find a book that's going to help you understand how you can eat better in order to counterpart the effect of your uh, low thyroid in your body. If you have diabetes, you want to make sure you educate yourself about how you can better, um, how you can improve your health with nutrition just based just on diabetes. Make sure you get, there are so many resources out there. You don't have to buy a book. You can go to the library and get a book. You can even go into an, a podcast. All right? So educating, educating yourself doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to sit down for 30 minutes and read, but you can definitely look for something that's going to help you understand your particular. If you have, uh, for example, um, arthritis, all right, you suffer from arthritis, then, then go ahead and look on the podcast if there is any podcast that talks about arthritis and read a little about it. So educate yourself, improve yourself. That's the only way that you're really going to understand how you can eat for health, all right? Because the way one person eats and helps that person doesn't necessarily apply to everyone. The meal plan is generalized for women, and I, it's, I've seen a lot of results. But I do want you to take control and ownership of this, of your own health, and improve it. And that's the only way to do it is to educate yourself, all right? So make it even if it's only 10 minutes a day, trust me, by the end of six weeks, you will know a lot more about yourself than you did when you got started, all right? To me, I want to make sure I have my shake during the day. Um, but whatever it is that you do, so PM would be before you go to bed. All right, you wanna make sure you drink your water. Um, in my case, I wanna make sure I keep a healthy dinner. I wanna cook healthy dinner seven nights, well, five nights a week. And let's say if I did seven, then I get a two, I get an extra night, two nights of healthy dinner, all right? I wanna to stick to my day schedule. I wanna plan the task for the next day. This is very important to me. I'm not a naturally organized person. All of these things are things that I learned. Um, from coaches and mentors, and this has helped my life. I want to write on my gratitude journal because I do want to finish my day with a positive mindset, and I also want to make sure I do my daily reading. Doing this, just checking what I did well in my day and what I fell a little bit short. I also want to be in bed by 9 p.m. because if I don't do this, then I don't get enough sleep hours, and that's not good for me and it's not good for my family because they don't like it and I don't sleep well. 
So that being said, your homework for today is to make your worksheet personal, all right? Think about the things that you want to accomplish in the morning, during the day, and nighttime, all right? I want you to erase all my little check marks right here, all right? You can do this on your own. Make it blank so you can print it. And also think about your goals. What are your goals? What, how many times, how many days a week do you wanna, you wanna make sure you drink your mojo? How many times you wanna read your goals? I usually fall short on this, I have to admit it, all right? I'm not expecting you to get greens every single day on every single thing. I mean, hopefully you can get all greens, but if you don't, it really isn't a big deal. All right, move on. It's just a review. It's to make you become a better person to finish through the six weeks and having really created some healthy habits. So I want you to do this. I want you to give it a little bit of thought. Create your worksheet. Take a picture and share it in the group. How about that? We have the Facebook private group and I want you guys I'm gonna make a post, I'm gonna share mine, and if you share in the comments below the picture of your healthy makeover habit worksheet. All right? So if you don't wanna post it on the group, the option is that you send it to me via text or to my email, whatever you prefer. But I think that if we post it on the group, then we're all gonna share some ideas. Maybe you share, you see someone else who, who put something that you didn't think about, you're like, oh, maybe I should add that to my, to my worksheet. Um, maybe you can contribute and give other people some ideas. So let's do this. So your homework, like I said, is that you create your own worksheet, you print it, you take a picture, and you share it in the group. And that's it for now. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and I cannot wait to get started on this challenge. Have a great evening. Goodbye.